Today on MTG Unpacked, it's time for the patron snap pack. So we've got a huge number of new patrons this month. Uh, let's see, we've got about 71 snap packs to get through in this video. So it's going to be a long one. I'm thinking it'll be about two hours. Uh, let me know in the chat if there's any issues with the audio, if everything's sounding good, looking good. And yeah, we've got a ton of people here already. So let's take a quick look. Ah, super chat from Richard. Thank you very much, sir. I need more Mind Rocked, please. Yes, yes, there'll be plenty of Mind rock today. In fact, let me just go and get some. So I have a bit of extra mind rot here. So here we go, some nice mind rot. I should actually try digging up the other version. Um, the other one with the person head on the table. I think that was Kaladesh or something. So there is the mind rot. Who else do we have here? We've got Eric Cook, Mame Regards, White Sox 46, Manaburn, Nick Cheeseman, Welcome, Gavin Mock, and Katie, Lou Jukes, you mad bro, 99, all the gang is here, Darwin Toledo, and I think that is about it. All right, so without further ado, let's get started here. So the patron snap packs are... Uh, We've got these boxes of cards here, and there's also some little surprises that may happen during the stream. So we go digging through here, putting those together. And the first set of patrons, we actually, uh, these will be getting the foils. So this is the lower end tier, but you do get a pack and a foil from the snap pack box. So, Let's introduce the first patron. It is White Sox 46, new patron. Gets the signed Jackalope herd there. So we're gonna grab a foil from the box and it is Mirrodin's Core. Okay, very shiny, very cool. All right, so we'll pop that in there. And of course, uh, it's still early in the month, so there's a lot of uh, pack openings to come, so stay tuned. All right, so that is the first patron. Next up, we have Rin Stark. Thank you for being a patron. And thank you too to White Sox 46. All right, so Rin gets a chain web arachnia. Holy moly, look at the falling on that thing. All right, so there we go, Rin. And I actually need to adjust my lighting a little bit here. Things are all topsy-turvy. Okay, next up we have Boomerian Belbachir. Thank you for being a patron. Grab a nice foil here. And it is Teferi, Mage of Zalfir. So a foil rare from Iconic Masters. Very nice. Any Teferi fans out there? I know uh, some people love it, some people hate it, especially in the current meta game. Okay, and finally, for the foil only, we've got Andrew Woodward. Thank you for being a patron. Let's dig into the box. Ooh, what is this? FNM promo. Reverse Engineer. All right, so I'll pop that in there for you. Okay, so that is the foils. Now the real meaty goodness here, we're gonna go through the boxes. So we'll get these mystery boosters out of the way. Those may or may not be opened during the video. You'll have to wait and see. So I'm gonna go through the, let's see here. Try to get through the patrons who are actually here to begin with. And then we will work our way through. Uh, let's see. 
Okay, we'll get started with these guys. Okay, first up we have Lou Jukes. And as you can see, Lou has done rather well already. So we're going to dig through here. So the way it works, I'll grab five commons out of this slot. And the box is pretty heavily loaded at this point, but as you can see, uh, we're, we're going to deplete that significantly throughout the video. Usually by the end, there's only a handful of cards left. Okay, and then a foil and a rare. Whoops. Okay, let's see what we've got for Lujuks. Thank you for being a patron, sir. Okay, we start off with a Somber Hoverguard, Karametra's Blessing, Research Assistant, Dark Heart of the Wood. Very cool from, uh, what is that again? The Dark, very cool. Look at that old school artwork. Curious Pair, Uga Gear Grabber, Sir Farron the Hengehammer, Destined to Lead, so I... Split card there. Looks like an extra rare here. Protein Raider. A Braid. There's a nice one. And a Foil Split card. Toil and Trouble. Holy moly. Look at the foiling on that. And the rare. Ooh, Full Art or Extended Art. Atris Oracle of Half Truths. So there we go, Lou. Thank you for being a patron. We'll tuck these in here. Very cool pulls today. Next up, we have Mana Burn. Okay, so let's go digging again here. And it's going to be a little slow going to begin with um, because everything's so tightly packed. But once things thin out, these will speed up. I used to uh, pre-record all of this, but it would take me the whole weekend to get everything done. So was sort of painful. I much prefer the live streaming. Can interact with all you guys out there as well. Okay, so Mana Burn. What do we got? Triumphant Surge. Memory Theft. So Tiny. Essence Scatter. Stave Off. Is that a Johnny? No, it must be a cousin. Devoted Druid, Royal Spout, Vampire of the Dire Moon, Ghostblade Eidolon, Fascination, and a Foil, Fire Mantle Mage. It's pretty cool. And the rare is Wheel of Fate. All right, so this is one of those mystery booster cards. You might notice the little symbol in the corner there. So nice old artwork there. So thank you for being a patron of Mana Burn. Let's tuck these in here. Okay, so digging through the patron envelopes. Oh, this guy. This guy is a hungry fellow indeed. Let's put those aside and see who else we have. And feel free to fast forward if you're watching this on replay. Digging through, just to picture a huge mountain of uh, cards. This is only like a small portion of it. Okay. Oh, okay. There's another patron. Digging through. Who else do we have here, I think? That is just about it. Oh, and this guy, all right. Okay, so now we will go through the next set of patrons. We have the man, the legend himself, Richard Corwin. Thank you for being a patron, sir. Let's hope we can get you some nice goodies out of the box today. Eric Cook, what on earth is a wild card? That sounds very mysterious. 
And Evangelos says he's still watching the pin unboxing. Yeah, so if you missed that video, you you want to check that out if you're a Pokemon fan. We did an unboxing of the new Pokemon pins. So check it out. It was a uh, double video morning today. Actually, this is triple with this one. So foil and rare. Okay, Richard. Let's see what we've got. Start off with Shatter, Mob, Sunlit Hoplite, Kite Sail Scout, Underworld Charger. Gavin says we need three wild cards. Ravenous Chupacabra. Yes, this one was good in the meta back in the day. Spectre's Shroud, Grey Merchant of Asphodel. There he is, Creeping Trailblazer, Shardless Agent. A foil, Celestial Dawn. It's pretty cool. And the rare is Canyon Sloth, or Slow. How would you pronounce that? Leave a note in the chat or comments. So there we are, Richard. Enjoy the pools today, sir. Let's tuck these in here. And like I said, early in the month. So these envelopes will be stuffed full of more cards as we do the pack openings. So stay tuned for all of that. Next up we have KTW. All right, so I'm going to go digging in the other box here because this one is really packed as well. Try to thin things out a bit. And of course we have the hairy arm vision here. I don't know if I can compete with Rudy in that respect, but I do my best to grow some luxurious arm hairs here. Okay. And I see Jay Shing is in the house. Welcome, Jay Shing, longtime fan of the channel. Let's see, grab that one and that one. And a foil. And a rare, oh, spoiler, that's a double-sided card. You could probably get a peek at what that was. But anyway. Let's go. We have Boon of Emrakul, Eagle of the Watch, Glade Watcher, Demystify, Erg Raiders, Blanchwood Armor, Aerial Engineer, Reassembling Skeleton, Engineered Might, Flame Tongue Kevu, A Foil, Beloved Princess, and Gee, it's the treasure map. Whoa, what a surprise, because some of you would have seen that and instantly recognized it. But there we are, Katie, enjoy. And stay tuned, your pack opening coming later in the month. Thank you for being a patron. Okay, next up, we have a hungry fellow, you mad bra, 99. Here he is, he is in the house. You might notice he has a little Jackalope logo by his name in the chat or if he's in the um, comments section. So that is the channel membership. So that's another way you can support the channel here on YouTube. So we'll grab one, two, three, four, and five. And the uh, channel membership, the deal with that is, is you get the little symbol there you also get your name in the credits. So that's pretty much it. And then the patrons on Patreon, that's where we do the uh, snap pack. So that's like another set of levels beyond. Okay. We have Summit Prowler, Renegade Map, Bewilder, Lead by Example, Arcbound Worker, Mishra's Factory, Skarg Guild Mage, Rocks Warmonk, Baleful Amet, Plague Mare, and a foil, Fateful End. And the rare is Dream Trawler. Nice pull indeed, sir. So there you go. And we got a question. Have you done a My Collection video yet? The closest you'll get to that is some of the older live streams. I think I went through my binder. Uh, also a goblin collection video. So we did a goblin hunt. If you use that keyword, you should be able to find that one. Honestly, the whole house is full of magic boxes everywhere. It's pretty crazy. 
Oh, we have a new Jackalope fan, Richard. Thank you, sir. He has joined the Jackalope army. Got the little uh, Jackalope next to his name now. Very good, sir. Thank you very much. And guess who it is? You mad, bra 99 He is back for seconds. He is a hungry gentleman indeed. So let's see what else we can get here. So five there, and then the uncommons. And a foil. Whoop, we don't want to grab two foils, although I'm sure he wouldn't mind. And then a rare. Okay. Let's go. We got an ingot chewer. Sapling migration. Hound of the Farbogs. Cloak Siren. Die Young. Mirror Image. Board the Weatherlight. Deathless Knight. Throes of Chaos. Weaver of Currents. A Foil Scourge Mark. And the rare. Oh, a Mythic. Crufix, God of Horizons. Very tasty pull there for you, Madbra 99 Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you for being a patron once again. We'll tuck these in here. Very cool. Uh, Evangelist says, since when have you been playing? If you have been. So I've been playing Magic since, uh, let's see, it's probably about three years now. So 2017, I started with Armanket. Um, played a ton of games at my local game stores over the years. Uh, I play MTG Arena mostly lately because my nearest local game store closed down um, twenty middle of 2019. Um, there are some others I've visited now and then, played pre-release at, but they're a bit too far to drive on a frequent basis. So, yeah, very happy with the game. You cannot uh, run out of things to do, just... Absolutely complicated, huge amount of lore, very fun, so definitely check it out if you haven't already. Next up we have Gav. Gav is another hungry fellow, so let's see what we can get. Lou says, wow, you're a rookie. I started in 1994 with a few breaks in between, yeah. I, I actually knew of the game... First I'd heard of it was like 19, I'm going to say 1998. Um, I was living in Australia and there were a bunch of guys on their lunch breaks would play this weird card game. And I knew it was, I heard it was Magic the Gathering, but they would spend their entire lunch break just playing cards. And I was like, oh, that's, that's pretty weird. I didn't really look into it, wasn't really into it. And uh, little did I know... I probably would have had a great deal of fun if I had joined them back then, but never mind. Making up for lost time now. We have Vestige of Emrakul, Balaged Scorpion, Slither Blade, Giant Baiting, Grim Guardian, Blade Wings Thrall, Ghostly Touch, Nimbus Swimmer, Witch's Oven, Death Dismissal. A foil, Torrent of Souls, and the rare, oh, another mythic, Gashath Sun's Avatar, nice. Dirty Big Dino, he is right at home with the Ikoria stuff as well. Although, did they, I don't think they had any dinosaurs, but there are a lot of things that look like dinosaurs, a lot of giant monsters. So there we are, Gav. And let's see, Richard started in 94, gave it, for almost 20 years in 96, sold all his cards back then. Oh no. Uh, I bet you're kicking yourself now. Okay. Gav is back for seconds. Yes. Okay. So he is just doing great so far. Welcome, Baboso. So we've gone through maybe, maybe a dozen patrons so far. And Richard restarted with the infamous Armand Cat. Yes, big fan of the Armand Cat. Those tasty uh, invocations.
Okay, and then we'll grab a foil here. And if you are watching this on replay, when did you start playing Magic? Leave a note in the comments. It's cool to hear all the different stories when people were starting. It's usually like there's some people who started playing right near the beginning and then there's uh, more recent things. I think the most recent, I heard some commenters played in uh, Throne of El Drain or Theros Beyond Death, so that's pretty cool. Okay, Gav, Volshock Replica, Crossroads Consecrator, Hulking Devil, Torrent of Venom, Volcanic Rush, Sarah Angel, Fortress Cyclops, Psychic Overload, Paranoid Parish Blade, Diamond Mare, a Foil Rare Dimensional Infiltrator, Nice Eldrazi goodness there. And another Mythic. What the heck, Gav? Seriously, man, you're cleaning me out here. Torrential Gear Hulk. Okay, from Kaladesh. One of the famous Gear Hulks. And actually, I was going through um, some of the boxes I had laying around, putting stuff in the album and looking for stuff for these boxes. And I found a complete playset of Anointed Procession, a complete playset of Walking Ballista. Um, I think I had an Arid Mesa. I was just in a box. I'm like, why is this in here? This should be in the album. So took care of that. Okay, guess what? He's back again. Okay. Let's do number three here. Okay, so five, and then grab the uncommons. Oh, that's cool. Eric Cook says, first time you ever played was actually a week before all this craziness started. Very cool. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, perfect. And Gavin says, the law has been more fascinating than the game, to be honest. Yeah, the the uh, the law and the thing that lures me in. So people always say, why do you go through the commons? We want to get to the good stuff. But for me, most of the fun here is looking at the artwork, looking at the fun little flavor text and seeing all the mechanics and stuff. So I like to go through everything on this channel. So next up, we have a Bent Think Infiltrator Wild Size. I don't know, is that supposed to be a bunch of goblins having a, a weird race on some pigs? Opt. Uh, ding, 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 ding. Gav, you, sir. Standard pack, which for this month, it's a mystery booster. These are not standard by any stretch. Let's set that aside. We'll open that shortly. You'll get the rares, mythics, foils, and anything over a buck. Next up, we have Colossal Dreadmoor, Resolute Blademaster, Serum Visions. Nice one. Racecourse Fury, Venom Sliver, Zenith Seeker, and a foil, Drog Skull Captain. And the rare is Shambling Vent. All right. So, we will now look at what this wild card has produced for Gav. Mystery booster time, everybody. Okay, and as you can see, I do have one more box left. So, that's it. This is why I'm, I've am i got my fingers crossed. I want to get my hands on uh, more boxes when they do the reprint. So, that would be pretty cool. And we have a new member on the channel. It is Gavin Mock. Welcome, sir. Fancy seeing you here. We just put the patron snap pack together for you. Welcome, sir. Or I should say welcome again. Okay. So I will be... Uh, if you can check prices during here. So I know most of the commons and uncommons. Um, there are some. If I'm a bit uncertain of, I'll just check with the chat. But definitely anything over a buck will go in there. Okay, starting off with Feet of Resistance, Avon Battle Priest, Monastery Lawmaster, Aether Trade Winds, War Tie Witch, Goblin Shaman. Okay, that was a little strange. Queen's Agent, Canyon Lurkers, Cleansing Screech, 
Roar of the Worm, Hardy Veteran, Maverick Thopterist, Grey Pelt Refuge. I'm not sure about that one. If somebody can check the price on that. And the rare is No Spine Dragon. Very cool. And a Cauldron of Souls. Another rare. That's the good thing about these mystery boosters. You tend to get a couple of rares. And a foil rare, Zer's Weirding. Check it out. Okay, so we'll tuck those in there for Gav. There you are, sir. Thank you for being a patron and now a new channel member. I'll set this stuff aside. And if anybody, if you notice the prices on those were over a buck, I'll definitely chuck them in. Okay, next up, let's see. I think we had a few patrons joining the stream since. So I'm going to go through, bear with me, fast forward through the boring bit. If you are watching this later... Maybe get yourself something to drink or a snack if you're watching this live. Okay, so digging, digging, digging. Holy moly. So many patrons. Here we go. Okay, so this guy. All right, we have Eric Cook. Thank you for being a patron, sir. Let's go digging in here to see what we can get for you this month. And how is everybody doing this fine weekend? Um, where I am in the Midwest US, the weather is warming up nicely. Although it's a little bit schizophrenic right now. It keeps... Uh, like we've had little random snow flurries and rain and stuff, so... It's all over the place. Okay, a foil and rare. All right, Eric, what do we got? Starting off here with a Desert Ceridon, Ancient Brontodon, Greater Basilisk, Market Festival, Feral Krushok, an Uncommon Snare Thopter, Tranquil Thicket, Vile Manifestation, Liliana's Defeat, Enter the Unknown, a foil, Renata called to the hunt, and the rare, oh, it's a mythic, Bontu the Glorified, nice. All right, legendary creature god, very cool. Pop this in here. Yeah, there's been some crazy weather in the Midwest. We've had, um, not here, but further south, I think around Tennessee, they had... Uh, Tornadoes and hail and snow, all sorts of weird stuff. Okay, Eric Cook, he is back for seconds. Okay, so we've got a mythic in the first one. Evangelist says his country only has one LGS. Holy moly. So around the US, obviously, there's LGSs everywhere, but they don't tend to last more than a couple of years. That's the problem. Um, the, the first one I went to had been around for ew, probably close to 10 years, but I came along and they closed that same year that I uh, started going there. So that was a bit disappointing, but found another one pretty quickly. And then that one closed, so... Bit of a tough business, but hopefully uh, your LGS will stay open as long as possible, especially in these trying times. Okay, next we have Mystic of the Hidden Way, Mad Dog. Nice artwork on that one. Bronze Sable, Cell Sword Brute, Falcon Wrath Wreather, Soul Herder. That one's a buck or so. Carrion Feeder. Ranging Raptors, Reality Scramble, an extra rare there, Reckless Spite, welcome Jonathan, just getting through the early patrons here, Omen of the Dead, Foil, and the rare is Concealed Courtyard, 
Nice jewel land. All right, so Eric, like I've been saying, uh, your pack openings coming up later in the month. Stay tuned. Okay, so if I go digging through the patrons here, I think, let's see. Got a few more came in. Okay, next up we have Barboso. Thank you for being a patron, sir. Let's grab some juicy goodness out of the box here. And for those of you just joining, the wild card tally is currently one. So Gav picked up a wild card pack of a mystery booster. Okay, Babo, so what do we have for you today? Ah, happy birthday, Jonathan. All right, we have Galvanic Blast, Caustic Caterpillar, Swift Spinner, Knight of the Tusk, Deathwind, Lonely Sandbar, Sensor, Furious Reprisal, Embodiment of Fury, Red Cap Melee, Oh, Foil Mythic Maelstrom Nexus, nice. And the rare is a Full Art Storm Herald, very cool from Theros Beyond Death. So there we are, Barboso. And then Jonathan, I will see if I can grab your envelopes here real quick, see if we can get you on your way. Uh, okay, so holy moly. Okay, Jonathan is a hungry fellow indeed. Let's dig into it. Okay, Jonathan Vogel saying, you are up. Let's see what we can get you. And I believe you have four snap packs today. So let's see. Bound to get something tasty there. Yeah, same here, Richard. 30 is long in the rear view mirror. Scandinavian Gorilla Goblin greetings from Norway. Welcome. Yes, we do have goblins on this channel. Okay, Brute Strength, Grave Purge, Sweep Away, Sweatworks Brawler, Wrench Mind. That's some crazy artwork there. Frenzied Tilling, Grasping Dunes, Wisp Weaver Angel, Chronicler of Heroes, Drown Yard Behemoth, Eldrazi Crab. That is so cool. A Foil Sage of the Falls. And the rare is Hostage Taker. Nice. That was one of my favorite cards around Ixalan time. Very cool. Okay, so pop that over there. And we've got someone from Hong Kong as well. Welcome. Actually, I think we have a couple. I think Gav's from Hong Kong. Next up, Jonathan Vogel sang part two. He's a hungry gentleman. Let's hope we don't fill him up on too many magic cards. He leaves some room for a nice lunch or dinner today. Whoops. I think I just revealed some cards there. SFX Ent says you always do these live. Yeah, for many months now. These have been live, so... Works out much better that way. And a foil. And a rare or mythic. Okay. Jonathan Vogel sang round two. Bonds of Quicksilver. Sears Lantern. Rotten Heart Ghoul. Mind Raker. Eldrazi Processor. Veteran Swordsmith. Crypt of the Eternals. Servant of the Conduit. Advanced Stitchwing, Shreds of Sanity, Crop Sigil, and a Foil Rare, Renegade Rallia, and a Mythic. Nice, Extended Art, Elspeth Sun's Nemesis. Very cool pull there with the alternate artwork. 
pop that in there. Okay, next. Guess who it is? He's back again, number three. Okay, one, two, three, four, and five. And you mad, bra 99 says, are you bringing back the pack blessings? I don't think so. I think that is a thing of the past. The logistics were getting pretty crazy as well as the weird YouTube changes. So I'm trying to avoid trouble there. Okay, Jonathan, number three, we have Legion Conquistador, Timur Battle Rage, Comparative Analysis, Festering Newt. Grim Affliction, Ruthless Sniper, Demolition Stomper, Field of Ruin, Shreds of Sanity, Throat Seeker, and a Foil, Moorland Inquisitor, with the rare is Demon of Loathing. That's some pretty grim and gritty artwork there. Okay, so there you are, Jonathan. But wait, one more to go here. He's back again, number four. So fourth time the charm. Actually, you've already done pretty well. So it's going to be tough to beat that Elspeth, I think. But we'll see what we can do here. And a foil. And rare or mythic. Just consider the uh, packs blessed with hairy arm energy. How about that? <laughs> okay, final snap pack here. We have Defeat, Blister Grub, Charging Rhino, Netcaster Spider, Distemper of the Blood, Illusory Angel, Hateful Eidolon, Dragonloft Idol, Hamlet Captain, Tormod's Crypt. There's a nice one. Foil, Bitterblade Warrior, and the rare... Oh, it's another mythic with the constellation artwork, Nylea Keen-Eyed. Very cool. So Jonathan is doing very nicely. And I believe he is uh, has three uh, legendary creatures, or what is it, the uh, Commander Snacks coming up this month. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so let me move this vast pile of envelopes. Okay, moving on. Next up, we have Travis Henderson. New patron, gets his signed Jackalope Herd. Very cool, thank you for being a patron. Welcome to the Jackalope Army. Okay, so three, four, and five. Yeah, I think uh, Jonathan also got a Chaos Box, is that right? Unless I'm misremembering. It's all in my notes on my phone, but my phone is live streaming right now. So, can't really check that. Four, five. Perfect. And a foil. And rare or mythic. Uh, have I seen the new Commander decks? Yes, I have. They look pretty tasty. I've actually already pre-ordered them from the local game store. Um, thanks for dropping by, Jonathan. Happy birthday once again. And welcome, Matteo. You made it. All right, we haven't done your snap pack yet, but stay tuned. Okay, Travis Henderson, what do you got? We've got Touch of the Void, Shaper Parasite, Gideon's Reproach, Maya's Malice, Defiant Ogre, Azorius Charm, Wanted Scoundrels. Merciless Eternal, Rebuild, Combine Guild Mage, a Foil, Processor Assault, and the rare is Field of the Dead. All right. So there we are. Travis, thank you for being a patron. And Evangelos says uh, he thinks the Jekyll Army sounds like a Okay, so I guess that could be... Uh, the, the jackalopes are a very mysterious creature indeed. 
Okay, let's see what else do we have. Next up we have Benjamin Sullivan, and he's already done pretty well there. Got his foil Gesheth Sons avatar. Let's dig into it. And Gavin says, uh, is he hearing a siren? Yeah, there was a, I think a fire truck went past. So hopefully nothing, uh, no problem there. Oh, you know what? I'm wondering, it could be the Easter Bunny. Um, we The local fire station, they sometimes have like Christmas and Easter. They have... Um, either Santa or an Easter bunny going by and they toot the horn and stuff and it's hilarious. Okay. And then Manaburn says, who has an MTG channel here? I want to subscribe to every supporter of MTG Impact. I know there is one of the patrons, or actually a couple, I'll point them out when they come up, um, that they have channels. Okay. Where did you get the box from? So it's a question from Daniel. What do you mean? The mystery boosters or or these things? Leave a note in the chat. Okay, Rustmouth Ogre. Iron Bully. Is there an Easter Jackalope? There may very well be. I'm sure in Wyoming they have an Easter Jackalope. String of Disappearances. S Searing Spear Ascari. What the heck is that? Very cool. God's Willing, Retreat to Hagra, Tavern Swindler, Possess Scarb, an extra rare here, Serpentine Spike, Release the Gremlins. Yes, Richard, Mr. Bevers is a fantastic guy, great channel. He probably, I would say he opens about the same or more than I do. Um, so that's all one word, Mr. Bevers. You'll see that in the chat. So definitely subscribe to him. Check it out. He does live streams as well and has a similar setup to this um, with uh, cards for patrons. Okay, release the gremlins. Extra rare. Oh, a foil swamp. That is so cool. And the rare is Canyon Slow. Sloth, slow, slaug. How do you say that? Leave a note in the chat or comments. Okay, there we go. Let's pop these in here. All right, next up, let's see. We had a couple of new people joining the live stream. And Daniel says, where can I get the mystery box from UK? You, they're probably sold out everywhere. Like, I picked up um, five from my local game store as soon as they were released, and they pretty much sold out within 24 hours or less than 24 hours. Um, so I hope they do a pretty big reprint because they're hard to come by. Okay, let's see... I saw where on earth is... Here we go. I was looking for Matteo Vianti. Welcome, sir. Thank you for being a patron. Let's see what goodness we can get out of here. And I think it was Richard was asking um, about the staying from home thing. So I've been working from home for the last month. And, yeah, our whole state is pretty much um, stay-at-home order. So, I expect, uh, well, it's currently till April 30th, but I expect they're going to extend that at least another month. So, oh dear. Okay, foil, bit of a spoiler there, and a rare... Okay, so Matteo, what do we got? Wall of Tangle Chords, Spike Mage Apprentice, Boulder Salvo, Catacomb Croc, he'll bite your arm off. All right, watch out, Trespassers Curse, Throat Seeker, Skipping Cards, so exciting, Sona, Captain of the Paleas, Jace's Phantasm, Richard says eBay has them, yeah. 
So if you go to either eBay or if you're in the US, TCG Player is another good one. Throws of Chaos, Triton Fortune Hunter, a foil convicted killer, which flips around into a branded howler. And the rare is Death Bellow War Cry. Okay, so there we are, Mateo. Enjoy the pulls. Stay tuned. Your packs will be open later in the month. Uh, Daniel says, which state am I in? I'm in Illinois. So, yeah, the governor's really keeping on top of things here. Um, I think making some good decisions. So, pretty happy about that. Okay. Oh, I mean, not really happy, but at least, you know, they're doing the right things. Next up, today, we have Captain Yesterday. So, let's go back to the other box here. See what we can get. And a foil and rare. Okay, Captain Yesterday. You'll probably watch this tomorrow or what? maybe you'll watch it today. Okay, we have a Gleaming Barrier, Martyr's Soul, About Face. That's pretty cool from Urza's. Fleet Feather Sandals, Demir Cluestone. Wasteland Strangler, extra rare chucked in there. Another rare, Violent Ultimatum. Look at the mana cost on that thing. Cling to Dust, Cura's Follower. Amit Eternal, a foil, Springjack Shepherd, Kithkin Wizard. And the rare is Pull from Tomorrow. Okay. So there we are for Captain yesterday. Thank you for being a patron. Yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Okay, that gag has gone on a bit long. Next up, we have Jack of All Trades. Thank you for being a patron, sir. So let's dig in here. Okay, Jack of all trades. What do we got for you this month? We have a Witch's Cottage. Counterspell. There's a nice one. Goblin Battle Jester Creature Goblin. Nice. Dagger Drome Imp. Reclaiming Vines. Sea God Scorn. Kongming Sleeping Dragon. You've got to put the quotes in there. Bane of Balaged. Spike shot goblin creature goblin shaman yes vengeful war chief a foil garrulous psychophant and the rare is vanquishers banner all right so that's another nice one so there we are jack of all trades thank you once again sir moving on we have chase thank you for being a patron Let's see what we can get here. And yeah, this whole situation, so we were supposed to go on a cruise and that got cancelled and then we were going to drive to Florida and then Things started going crazy, so we we ended up just staying home for what was supposed to be our holiday, our spring break holiday, unfortunately. And looks like our summer holiday might have to get cancelled as well because the parks, the national, a lot of the national parks are closed as well. Welcome, MTG Hermit. You are just in time because I have not done your snap pack yet, so stay tuned. Okay, Chase, we have Opt. Stern Dismissal, Sanguinary Mage, Calestria Healer, Crushing Canopy, Maru Heart Piercer, Thrumming Bird, Goblin Matron, Creature Goblin, uh, extra rare here, Drana Calestria Bloodchief, Void Attendant, a Foil, Kulrath Knight, 
And the rare is Drawn from Dreams. Okay, so there we are, Chase. And I see Rudy has a new video out, so I expect everybody will be rushing off to check that out. Oh, I can't wait to see what hairy arm energy he will have today. Okay, so let's dig through. Um, here he is. MTG Hermit. All right, you're up next, sir. Thank you for being a patron. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I think MTG Hermit has a YouTube channel. Um, I know, was it Manaburn was asking about that earlier? Who else had a YouTube channel? So definitely check that out. Correct me if I'm wrong. Okay. And a foil and rare. Welcome, Dylan. Okay. <laughs> Thriving rats, yes, we've got some rats for you today, sir. Wildfire emissary, hello, Eldrazi aggressor, essence warden. Hope I didn't blow out anybody's speakers. Mateo says, uh, maybe Rudy has another finance lesson. Yes, I'm very fond of those, actually. Very interesting watching all the way through. Unraveling mummy, great teacher's decree, Iona's Blessing, Prodigal Pyromancer, Ravenous Giant, a Foil, Scrib Ranger, and the rare, oh, Paul from Tomorrow again. Okay, so there we are, MTG Hermit, stay tuned, the patron, uh, the pack openings coming up later in the month. Okay, next up we have another new patron, Janelle Mondragon, with a signed Jackalope Herd. Thank you for being a new patron. Welcome. So let's see what we can get you this month. Bit of a spoiler there on that one. Double-sided cards. Okay, foil and rare. Okay, Janelle, let's see. We have a Copperhorn Scout. Containment Membrane, Crown Hunter Hailing, Mind Rot. You watch too many videos on this channel. It will rot your mind. And the target player discards two cards. But everything's good. You keep on watching. That'll clear right up. Catalog, Nantuko Cultivator, Skywise Teachings, Smoldering Werewolf, Swaps around into Erupting Dreadwolf. Fireball. Yes, Gavin. My, I do have a horse face. It's quite disturbing. If you go back to many of the previous live streams, you'll see it. It's getting a bit old, to be honest, these face reveals. So, yeah, definitely. If you want to see the face reveal, go back to some of the other live streams. Check them out. Mind Melter. Mysterious Path Lighter Foil. And the rare is Graph Digger's Cage. Very cool. Okay, so there we are, Janelle. Let's pop that in here. Thanks for dropping by, Guy. Okay, next up we have Ryan Hoffman. Another new patron here. Welcome, sir. Okay, and then grab the foil and rare. Okay, Ryan, what do we got? Starting off here with a golden urn. Tajuru Path Warden, Read the Bones, Dazzling Reflection, Direct Current, Battle Screech, Boros Garrison, Staggering Insight, Colgan Monument, Dragon Rage. Resourceful Return is the foil, and the rare is Dreamborn Muse from 10th edition. Very creepy artwork there, so there we are. Ryan, enjoy the pulls this month. Tuck that in there. Okay, next up, we have another Ryan, Ryan Wilson. Thank you for being a patron, sir. Three, four, and four. Five, and then uncommons. Uh, 
And a foil. Where are the wild cards? Meme regard says, if you would have a first purchase as a beginner, what would you buy? I would say either a Planeswalker deck or better still, one of the new Challenger decks. So those tend to be more competitive. Um, if you want to learn how to build decks, the Deck Builders Toolkits are pretty good. You mad, bra 99 people keep asking about sponsoring packs. If we have any leftover after we're done, so I want to keep this box sealed. I have some videos later in the month that will use that. Um, but yeah, we have four more packs, so if we don't get through those, definitely you can sponsor them later, but let's just see how we go. Okay, Ryan, we have Untamed Might, Carrion Imp, Guardian Shield Bearer, Thresher Lizard, Rot Feaster Maggot, delightful. Hope you're not eating your lunch or breakfast or dinner right about now. Goblin Oriflam, Foundry Inspector, Coordinated Assault, Chief of the Foundry, Hero's Blade, a foil, Rescue from the Underworld, and the rare, oh, Extended Arts, a Tessin Champion. Very nice from Theros Beyond Death. So enjoy those, Ryan. Do you think a pre-release is good for a first purchase? Uh, not really, because it doesn't... Well, I guess it could be. You could build your deck there, but might be pretty confusing, overwhelming, I would think. Um, so, yeah, I, I was pretty confused when I started playing and I went to a pre-release. Bit of a uh, tough thing, but... You know, you might you might like the uh, the event, so if they have them, that's the other problem, I guess. Okay, next up, Gavin says he would uh, choose a bundle over a pre-release. Okay, we have Brian Simmons gets a very nice pull this month, but let's see what else we can get from the snack pack box. One, two. Three, four, and five. And a foil and a rare. Okay. And Ethan says an Eldrain gift bundle is $40 now. Holy moly, they've really dropped in price. What the heck is this? This is a wild card. Ding, 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 ding. Brian. Okay, standard pack, which this month is a mystery booster. We'll tuck that back there. Open that shortly. Okay, we have a Stillgaze Griffin. Reckless Charge. Flummox Cyclops. Eye Gouge. Ooh, Treasure Keeper. Naya Charm. Sprite Noble. Release the Ants. Colossal Heroics, a Foil, Ravenous Trap, and the rare is Underworld Sentinel. Okay. So, main regard says, isn't a Planeswalker deck not really good for competitive play? Yeah, so the Planeswalker deck is when you're learning, like when you've literally not played at all and you're trying to figure out, like you're just learning, that is the thing to start with. Um, but Challenger deck, that might be a little bit more complicated to pick up, but you can probably find some rules online. So they're about the same price. If you're worried about competitiveness, you think you might uh, um, be a competitive player uh, playing in tournaments and stuff, you might want to pick up a challenger deck instead. But yeah, either, either one is good, I would say, for getting started. It's just the Planeswalker ones tend to be a bit more simplified for new players. Okay, we have Village Bell Ringer, Sky Hunter Skirmisher, Fleeting Distraction, Mahamoti Jin, Disowned Ancestor, Costly Plunder, Leopard Spotted Jiao. Jiao, is that how you say that? I don't think I've seen this card before. Very cool. Barging Sergeant Revive, Dirkwood Bailoff, Rosemane Centaur. Sorcerer's Broom, and the rare is Font of Mythos. I don't think I've seen that one either. Very cool. A Mythic Expropriate. That is a tasty pull indeed. 
and a foil spike feeder. What on earth is that? Very strange. Okay, so some nice old school cards there for you, Brian. Enjoy. Tuck that in here. I don't think, I'll just check real quick. I don't think there was anything over a buck here. Nope, doesn't look like it. Okay, so that was the second wild card down. Evangelos says, Rudy posted a video, by the way. Yeah, I did see the pop-up on my phone. That's pretty funny. Um, next up, we have Michael Shoup. Welcome, sir. Patron number one. Literally, I think he was the first patron. So you might see in the credits uh, of each video, they're in order that the patron join the channel. So his is always coming up first. So thank you for all your support since the beginning, sir. Okay, three, four, five, and a foil, and a rare. Okay, I might need to have a drink in a minute. My voice is starting to go. Okay, we have a Grim Contest, Vidalian Arcanist, Shadow Glider, Uncaged Fury, Ogre Errant, River Hoopo, Firebolt, Renata Called to the Hunt, Sir Eleonora the Discerning, Frostwalk Bastion, a Foil Blasting Station, and the rare is Ratchet Bomb. All right. So there we are, Michael, enjoy the pulls and your pack openings coming up later in the month. Okay, a quick swig of water. Okay, next up. We have Cosmo. Thank you for being a patron, sir. So let's see how we can do today. Evangelist says, you honestly need a uh, break for all the hard work every day. So I try to, what I do is try to film everything on the weekend and then um, try to schedule things ahead of time. So a lot of days, or not a lot, I say some days I'm not even working on any videos if everything's already scheduled, but doesn't always work out like that. Okay, we have a Ghostly Sentinel, Brilliant Spectrum. Mind Stone, Lead by Example, Giant Spectacle, Feral Hydra. Get a split card here. Armed and Dangerous. Pyroclasm. Nantuko Cultivator. Keepsake Gorgon, a Foil, Feral Abomination. And the rare is Can Wanderer. Check out that weird alien looking dude. Very cool artwork. So there we are, Cosmo, enjoy. And Gavin says, by the way, sir, I'm curious, what got you into Pokemon? <laughs> oh dear, the Pokemon story. Let me tell you about Pokemon. I will set this stuff aside. We'll get on to the next patron momentarily. So the Pokemon story began, really, April 1st. Uh, 2019. So I will continue to dole out little snippets of information as we go forward. Trevor Chrisma, thank you for being a patron. So it was uh, the April thing last year was like, I think it was going to be the last video for the channel, last Magic Channel. I was going to open Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh from then on. Unfortunately, I couldn't um, keep a straight face, and so I ended up laughing, and that was that. So it started off as a April Fool's joke last year, and 
then um, I think it was Jay Shing or somebody said, you know what, you should actually open some on the channel uh, for April 1st. And I was like, uh, I don't know, I'll see how it goes. And then I thought about it some more and then waiting till the date got a bit closer, I thought, you know what, I might do that. And so let's see, we'll continue the story in a moment. Trevor Chrisma, we have a galvanic blast, prowling pangolin, Iron Rights cleansing, messenger jays, Dirgo Nemesis. Welcome, Anthony Siriani. We have not done your snap pack yet. Stay tuned, sir. Show stopper, hungering yeti, blessed spirits of his Copa Guild Mage, Alpine Guide, torment of scarabs. Oh, that's a foil. Yeah, okay. It was sort of muddy there. And the rare is Legion's End. Nice. So we'll tuck those in there for you, sir. But wait. Don't go anywhere, Trevor, because we have another snap pack for you. Number two. Let's dig in. So two, three... Four and five. Anyway, the Pokemon thing, while I was... Um, so I've been working from home for the last month. So obviously no commute, but I have been putting in a lot more hours than usual. But I'm just an anxiety-ridden uh, wreck lately, like everybody else, I'm sure. So I started watching, I think YouTube was recommending these uh, Pokemon videos like Leonhart or um, Will Breaking Nate, some of the other bigger guys. And so I started watching them as research. And what ended up happening was I actually thought it looked pretty fun. So I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to, I figured out what I wanted to get for the April special. I'm like, I'm not going to start opening Pokemon. I'll just do this April 1st thing and we'll see how that goes. Well, uh, I actually had more fun than I expected. So uh, that's why you're now seeing Pokemon videos on the channel. Okay, Volcanic Upheaval. Strategic Planning. Spontaneous Mutation. Torch Courier. Geist of the Moors. Scorch Rizolka. Lanawar Tribe. Deathless Behemoth. Fire Drinker Satyr. This is the guy, I think he keeps coming up in the um, Theros Beyond Death. There's some other card. I think it's the same one, so I think that's pretty funny. That's from the original Theros or Theros Block. Retreat to Valakut, a foil funeral charm. And the rare is Nimble Obstructionist. All right. Welcome, OMG, it's Ollie and Joe Morgan. No, Joe, we have not done your snap pack yet. So I was trying to get through the patrons who were here. Um, some of them who are not, I have actually done them already. But let's see. So who, we got a bunch of got Anthony, Joe, let's see. While you're here, I know not everybody can stick around for... The whole two hours or more. I'm not sure how long this is going to go for, but yeah, true, Gavin. Definitely anxiety relieving the crack, the Pokemon stuff. It's just like magic. I, I do it like multiple times a week, nearly every day for the channel. And it's a different experience with cracking the Pokemon. It's like I have no idea what I'm doing. And it's just this fun little game that they have. So... Yeah, I'll do more of that now and then. Tony Siriani, you are up next, sir. So thank you for being a patron. Hope everybody is staying safe and healthy out there. And I did actually do, if you know, I have another YouTube channel that is called Pop Sideshow. So we open Funko Pops on that channel. I did another video last weekend. Finally, that was like the first one in five months. I was just too uh, depressed about that whole thing. Um, 
But yeah, that, uh, that was a fun little video. I have little skits. So if you have not checked out Pop Sideshow, you might want to check it out. Okay, next up we have Bartered Cow, Scion Summoner, Loom Lava, Bitter Revelation, Mind Raker, Thrasher Brute, Sling Gang Lieutenant, Creature Goblin, nice. Prism Ring, Talisman of Hierarchy, Aethercast Knight, a foil, Conspiracy, and the rare is Hope of Girapur. All right, so this was a popular one back in the day, one of the uh, vehicles from Aether Revolt. So there we are. Tony, thank you for being a patron. Um, Joe Morgan, do you know a good vendor for magic-related items like cards and stuff? I'm looking for a store online that gives better deals. <clears throat> so I would go with either tcgplayer.com, so that's like the marketplace for everything. You can find just about anything for a good price on TCG Player. Um, and then eBay is hit and miss. There's a lot of scammers on eBay as well, so you've got to really check out the sellers. But yeah, TCG Player is where I get all the cards that I buy for the channel, um, for the commanders and for the chaos boxes. So yeah, you'll have a lot of uh, luck finding whatever you want on there. Okay, next up, Joe Moore. Here he is. Thank you for being a patron, sir. Good luck. Are there any vendors that sell worldwide? You will, uh, eBay is about your only option there because Wizards of the Coast has strict rules about selling um, new sealed product internationally. So you're gonna have trouble doing that. Um, older stuff you can probably pick up um, a lot of places online, but yeah, a lot of things, sealed product, they just won't do it. Just um, unsealed cards and stuff, you can look on, I think, um, I'm not sure, does TCG player ship worldwide? Um, leave a note in the chat or comments if you know about that. Okay, Joe, we have Lightning Shrieker, Winged Shepherd, Gift of Orzova, Incubator Drone, we're heavy on the old Drazi this month, Funeral Rites, Karametra's Acolyte, Sidraxa Spectre, Anvil Rot, Raptor, Condescend, Crystal Chimes, a foil rare, Norrin the Wary, and the rare is Temple of Malice. Nice. Okay, so there we are. Joe, enjoy. And Gavin says, Card Kingdom ships worldwide. So that's that's not sealed product, though. That's just um, like individual cards or uh, decks and things, right? Yeah, for singles. Okay. All right, next up, we have Emblazoned Aegis. Thank you for being a patron. And Michael, you just missed in the last, I would say, 10 minutes, we did your uh, snack pack. So if you check out the current timestamp, so we've been running like 73 minutes. Uh, if you go back about 10 minutes and watch from there, you'll probably find your snap pack so hope you like what you got this month okay foil and a rare all right we have gleam of resistance <clears throat> phantom centaur tendrils of corruption stencia banquet Ravenous Lucracota, mouthful of teeth on that guy. Talisman of Resilience, Glacial Revelation, Great Teacher's Decree, Arishan War Beast, Firebolt. And a foil, Geth's Grimoire, that's pretty cool. Looks like an Evil Dead type book. And the rare is Steel Overseer. Okay, so there we are, Emblazon Aegis. Stay tuned, your Chaos Box coming up later in the month. Thank you for being a patron. Next up, we have a new patron, James Martin. Gets his signed Jackalope Herd there. 
So let's see what we can do for month number one. And a foil and rare. If you had to pick up a Planeswalker deck from uh, Throne of Eldraine to Theros Beyond Death. Um, ooh, that's a tough one. I really like the Aishiok Planeswalker deck. Um, but the Eldraine ones are pretty good as well. So up to you, whichever. It's really about the colour combinations you like the most or that seem appealing. So definitely check out. Uh, we've reviewed them all on the channel. There's, I think there's a whole Planeswalker deck playlist so you can watch those and see exactly what you get in each box. Check them out. So that was a question from the chat. Expedition Raptor. Uncaged Fury. Witness the End. Ooh, I wonder if we'll see more of these guys in uh, Zendikar Rising. Fortify. Suppression Bonds. Vicious Conquistador. Flame Javelin. Monastery Swift Spear. That's a nice one. Lesser Master Core. Whoa, spoilers. Hunt the Hunter. A foil, Clothis's design. And the rare is Solemnity. Nice. Players can't get counters. That's a fun one. Okay, tuck those in there for James. Thank you for being a patron. Next up, we have Eric Kinsey. Thank you for being a patron, sir. And a foil. And a rare or mythic. All right, Eric. What do we got in here? Starting off with Presence of Gond. Dark Steel Pendant. Cemetery Recruitment. Don't do it. Liliana will hose you every time. Bonds of Faith. Live Fast. Baron Moore. Whoops, skipping cards again. So exciting because it's Fibble Thip the Lost. An extra rare here. Indulgent Tormentor. Inventor's Apprentice, Nissa's Judgment, Foil, Pilgrim's Eye, and the rare is Concealed Courtyard. All right, so nice jewel land there. Thank you for being a patron, Eric. Next up, we have Dylan Moore. Thank you for being a patron, sir. I think he just joined the chat in the last few minutes. So hopefully you're still there. Can check out your snack pack. And we'll grab a foil and a rare. Thanks for dropping by, Katie. Have a good weekend. Okay, Dylan. We have Act of Treason, Ondu Champion, Midnight Scavengers. So this one, you might have seen the spoiler here, flips around into half a card. So I think they called this the meld mechanic. So they're actually two halves. I initially thought this was like a printing problem, but no, that is actually a real thing in uh, Eldritch Moon. So very fun. A split card here, Fire and Ice. Unwavering Initiate, Webweaver Changeling, Carrion Feeder, Rogue's Passage. Another split card here. Toil and Trouble. What do you think of the split cards? Every time Rudy sees one, he, like, complains about it. I don't really like them that much myself because the artwork is, like, a tiny little window there. But anyway, Cephalid Broker, blow your house down is the foil and the rare is Scattered Groves. Okay, so there we are, Dylan. Have a good one, James. We'll tuck that in here. Okay, moving on. 
We have Ash Geekalotl. Thank you for being a patron. Let's move over to this box here. So I think your video, or one of your videos, was this morning, all the mystery boosters. So check it out. Got some nice pulls there. So two, three, four, and five. Okay, foil and a rare. Okay, let's see what we can get for you this month. Starting off with a Satyr Wayfinder, Feral Abomination, Rootwater Hunter, Fade into Antiquity, Venomous Hierophant, Warrior's Lesson, Phalanx Leader, Rally of Wings, Extract from Darkness, Contagion Clasp, a Foil, Lightning Storm, and the rare is Dragon's Horde. All right. Very cool. So there we are. Ash Geekalotl, thank you for being a patron. Have a good one, you mad bra, 99. Okay. So next up we have Daniel E. Coop. Thank you for being a patron, sir. Let's go mining for goodness here. Three, four, and five. The boxes are really thinning out now, so I'm hoping I have enough cards here. Okay, Daniel. We have Fathom Fleet Firebrand, Hedron Crawler, Vampire Envoy, Arbor Armament, Ornamental Courage, Secluded Step, Psychic Symbiont, Lonely Sandbar, Baleful Amet, Propaganda, Wildfire Eternal, Foil, and the rare is Altar of Dementia. All right, so there we are. Daniel, enjoy the pulls this month. Thank you for being a patron. Meme Regards says, have you ever tried to build a deck in every set? If you mean every set, going back to the beginning, um, you would have to be a multi-millionaire to be able to do that. Um so decks going back, I've been playing since Armand Kett, so up until the last couple of sets I've built decks. Mostly the more recent things are on MTG Arena though. Okay, let's go with a couple of new patrons here. We have Justice Catron, thank you for being a patron. So it gets the signed Jackalope Herd and, of course, the pack opening coming up later in the month. Sorry to hear that, Richard. Hope you can at least unwind. Um from home or wherever you're watching the video. Okay, next up, Justice. What do we got? Blight Keeper, River Data, Twisted Abomination, Whisperer of the Wilds, Winds of Rebuke, Blaze, Vine Mare, Eternal Isolation, Demir Aqueduct, Bloodshin Rager, and a foil rare, Kunaros Hound of Athreos, and a mythic Undergrowth Champion. Fantastic, Paul. Okay, so there we are. So we've got the foil rare and a mythic. Nice. All right. Next up, we have another new patron, Arian R. Thank you for being a patron. Hopefully we can get to something nice here for your first month. Ooh, 24 hour call for Richard. That sounds bad. I was only ever on call for a couple of weeks at one time and it was a nightmare getting like 
3 a.m. calls and stuff and you'd have to answer technical questions and it's like, no, no, don't like that, sorry. Okay, Mog War Marshal, Creature Goblin Warrior. Nice, the goblins are back. Rally the peasants. Vaswood Gorger, Bailoth Gorger. How many gorges did I put in the box this month? McKindy Patrol, Topan Freeblade, Switcheroo, Vampire of the Dire Moon, Screams from Within, Etherize, a foil, Sunmane Pegasus, and the rare is Fumigate. All right, so there we are, Arian. Thank you once again. Pop these in here. Okay, next up we have Prism Puppy. Got a nice Nyx Lotus there already, but we're hoping to supplement that with more goodies. And a foil and rare. Okay, Prism Puppy. What do we got? Dusk Legion Zealot. Guided Strike. Take Inventory. June Beetle. Impact Tremors. There's a nice one. Nature's Way. Lightning Strike. Thought Distortion. Yes, this can happen sometimes on this channel. If you watch too many videos before you get the mind rot. Blood Fray Giant, Rogue's Passage, a Foil Triumphant Surge, and Rare. Oh, it's a Mythic. Extended Art, Ox of Agonas. Very nice. Okay, so there we are, Prism Puppy. Thank you for being a patron. Tuck those in there. <clears throat> and I will move these cards aside one moment. Okay, who do we have up next? All right, it is Eric Palenko. And as you can see, he had a very nice pull indeed from the Chaos Box this month. Okay, one, two, three, four, and five. Uncommons and then a foil. All right, Eric, what do we got? Ooh, that's pretty cool. Ember Fist Zubera from uh, one of the Kamigawa block. Beneath the Sands, Sheer Drop, Undying Rage, Dragon Scale Boon, Unconventional Tactics. Aether Shield Artificer, Clamor Shaman, Creature Goblin Shaman, nice. Grave Digger, Quasi Deceiver, Orcish Hellraiser is the foil. And another Mythic, yes, Constellation Perforos Bronze Blooded. Check it out. All right. So pop those in there. Thank you for being a patron, Eric. Next up, we have Carl Elwood. He got the goat. Yes, people, I know several people have gotten goat tokens this month. Always happy when I come across those. Okay, three, four, and five. And then a foil and a rare. Oh, spoilers. Okay, don't look too closely at that one. Okay, Relentless Pursuit. Call the Cavalry. Taste of Blood. Tangle Golem. Flesh to Dust. Artisan of Kozilek. Renata called to the hunt. Showcase. Farmstead Gleaner. Needle Tooth Raptor. Spellheart Chimera. Oh, nice. Flat Island Foil. Very nice. 
And the rare is Search for Azcanta, which flips around into Azcanta, the Sunken Ruins. So you got a bit of a spoiler there before you saw the full card. All right, so there we are, Carl. Thank you for being a patron. Welcome, Jack of All Trades. I think we did your uh, pack opening, uh, your snack pack about 20 minutes ago or so. So, yeah, take note. We've been on the stream for about 90 minutes. So if you go back a certain amount, like, say, 15, 20 minutes, you should find it. All right, Carl Elwood, he is back for seconds. So let's try this other box. And a foil. Let's grab a foil here and rare. Okay, Carl, round two. We have Seek the Wilds. Emerge Unscathed. Dark Steel Citadel. Timo Runemark. Anticipate. Arcane Encyclopedia. Dregscape Sliver. Any Sliver fans in the audience? Split card here. Depose and Deploy. Abzan Battle Priest, Frostwalker, and a foil, Staggering Insight, and rare is Underworld Breach. Nice one. Okay, so there we are, Carl. Pop those in here for you, sir. Thank you for being a patron. Next up, we have Adam Fleischer. So if you saw one of the Commander Snacks recently, we did the Nekusar, the Mind Razor. Very cool. Check it out if you haven't already. Love the artwork on that card. Okay, two, three, four, and five. And uncommons. Grab a foil and a rare. Okay, Adam, what do we got? Kite Sail Scout. County Heart Expedition. It of the Horrid Swarm. I just like the name of that and the artwork's pretty cool. And Nishit's Companion. Touch of the Void. A Ketra's Attendant. Brawlbash Ogre. Sarah Angel. Interplanar Beacon. Mahamoti Jin, a foil fumigate, very cool, nice board wiper, and the rare is Angelic Chorus from Battle Bond. Okay, so there we are, Adam. Enjoy. Pop those in there. Okay, let's see. Next up. We have another hungry patron. We have Timson. Thank you for being a patron. Let's go digging for goodness here. And a foil and a rare. All right, we got Borderland Ranger. Cancel. Cancel, cancel. You've been cancelled. Okay, two cancels. Halfway to a playset. Dauntless Cathar. Coal Hauler Swine. Blanchwood Armor. Oh, Richard says four cheese pizza is on the way. Enjoy that, sir. Sorcerer's Wand. We'll probably be uh, picking up the usual... There's a local restaurant we get um, hamburgers and stuff from, so they're still doing uh, curbside pickup, so that's that's good for us. We're happy about that. Into the Void, Pathraiser of Ulamog, Inquisitive Puppet, a foil rare, Perforos's Intervention, and a rare, Shambling Vent. Okay, nice jewel land there. What is that from BFC? So there you are, Timson, but wait, there is more. <laughs> Gavin says, like MTG Unpacked once us, with or without pineapple. Yeah, that pizza should have pineapple on it. 
Uh, Rich says, did all the mystery boosters get pulled? No, we've only done two. So hoping there will be a few more. Next up, we have Timson, number two. Let's go digging. And like I said, if there are any left over, um, it is possible to sponsor those packs open. But let's just see um, how we can get through here if we get any more wild cards okay <laughs> richard says pineapple is a sacrilege i i would say pizza without pineapple is a sacrilege really um i mean i'll eat it i won't really enjoy it as much but you gotta have the pineapple man ham and pineapple or hawaiian pizza beautiful okay macabre waltz liliana up to mischief there rose thorn halberd Fortified Rampart, Vessel of Nascency, Warwing Siren, Kefnet's Monument, Sarah Angel, Fact or Fiction, Rakdos Kirun, and I'm skipping cards. Bit of a spoiler there. Hungering Yeti and a foil rare. Erebus's Intervention. And there is another Hope of Girapur. Okay, so I did have a couple of duplicates in a box this month. But I think I, I was trying to cut it down to no more than two of each. So there we are, Timson. Enjoy. Thank you for being a patron. Next up, we have Sundance Kid. Okay, let's dig into it. And all this talk of pizza is making me uh, get quite hungry at this point. Yeah, I can take or leave anchovies. Not really an anchovy fan. Have a good one, Tony. Okay. Oh. Sundance Kid. Wojek Halberdiers. Power Stone Shard. Chain to Memory. Ephemeral Shields. Gavin eats a whole can of anchovies in one hit. Oh, okay. Nixborn Seaguard, Decimator Beetle, Windkin Raiders, Gelectrode, The Acroan War, extra rare here. Scarb Goliath, a foil, Wrap in Flames, and the rare is Shaper's Sanctuary. All right, enjoy Sundance Kid. And that does sound delicious, Richard. He says the best pizza comes from the Bronx, thin crust with a boatload of pepperoni. Okay, nothing like YouTube censorship. And let's see what we got next. I actually like the um, Lou Malinati's does the deep dish in the Chicago area. They're, they're pretty good, but my stomach usually is not too pleased after that. Whatever they use, too much butter or something. Okay, next up we have Jonathan Hoferkamp. Thank you for being a patron. And who else? Uh, Richard loves anchovies. Who else loves anchovies? This is a snap poll. And people are probably wondering what on earth is going on in the comments section. All these comments about anchovies, but I think it will be hilarious. So if you've watched this far, leave your comments in the comment section about anchovies. Matteo says anchovies are necessary. I think they're quite unnecessary, but yeah, I mean, I'll eat them and it's not like I'm gonna pick them off or anything. I'm not too picky usually, but really need the pineapple on there. Okay, Jonathan. <laughs> New York pizza is the best because of the water. I will say I did enjoy the pizza in New York. I was there 20 years ago, and it was delicious. Okay, Naturalize, Oracle of Dust, Ghost Ship, Bloodlust Inciter, Universal Automaton, Jetty Offshoot, Tetsuko Umazawa Fugitive. This one is fun to use with the Rat Colony deck. Mystic Repeal, Unblockable Rats, Inspiring Call, Anger, a foil Memnite, and the rare is Traverse the Uvenwald. Nice. Yeah, they are pretty salty, aren't they, Richard? Those anchovies. Okay. 
Who have we got next? Oh, wait. Jonathan is back for seconds. Let's keep the man satisfied, very hungry. Get him another snack pack. We don't want you to go hungry around here. You're welcome, Jack of all trades. <laughs> welcome, Janelle. Saw your uh, snack pools, that mind rot. <laughs> Yeah, enjoy. It's always a rare treat. I try to, if I have them, I try to put at least one mind rot in the box every month. Okay, we have a culling drone. Seek the wilds. Iona's judgment. Fan bearer. Vandalize. Fog bank. Miraza ranger. Uvenwald mysteries. Under city troll. You have been trolled. As have we all, Jonathan Juggernaut. Oh, nice. Full Art Forest from Theros Beyond Death. Can't get enough of those. And the rare is Jade Light Ranger. Okay, so some nice pulls this month, sir. Stay tuned. Pack opening coming up later in the month. Okay, next we have SPNKS. Thank you for being a patron. Let's... Go digging here. Right on time, Jonathan. Excellent. And a foil and rare. Okay, SPNKS. Oh, wild card. Okay, standard pack. Here we go. Set that aside. Okay, so that's three. I think there's one more somewhere here. So we'll keep our eyes peeled. Okay, starting off with Nakana Assassin. Frogmite. Lava Step Raider. Creature Goblin Warrior. Wild Nakatl Cat Warrior. Good Fortune Unicorn, Ravenous Giant. And this is me when I'm a little hungry, although my teeth aren't quite as bad as that. Underworld Dreams, Oars of Basilica, Laboratory Maniac, a foil rare wave break hippocamp, and a full art dream trawler. Nice. All right, so we'll pop that in there and then we will crack open the mystery booster. Will we find a mana crypt? This is like the fourth box, and this is the fifth one here. Surely, at some point, we will find a mana crypt. So, good luck, SPNKS. Thank you for being a patron. What do we got today? We have a bartered cow. Lingering souls. Invisibility. Durgo Nemesis. Blighted bat. Death Denied, Geomancer's Gambit, Shatter, Elemental Uprising, Blossom Dryad, Zertar Druid, a Messy Tome, a rare Guided Passage, that's pretty cool, nice old artwork there, and a Mythic Anima Soul of Elements, that is a very tasty pull indeed, and a Foil Herald of Leshrac. All right, so some nice pulls for you, sir. Pop those in there, and I will do a price check on this stuff later. I don't think there was anything over a buck. The only one, I was a little, I was lingering souls. I'm not sure about that one, but definitely leave a note in the chat or comments if one of these was over a buck. That's US dollars. Okay, next up we have Ziggy Storm. Thank you for being a patron. Let's see what we can get for you this month, sir. And a rare, oops, spoiler. We have a nettle drone. 
Skittering Crustacean, Sacred Cat, Blood Craze Neonate, Aradara Express, and people asking um, where they're from. I'm actually from way, way, way down south. As you can probably tell from my southern accent. Cast Out, Jetting Glass Kite, Rogue's Gloves, Storm Chaser Chimera, Geist Blast, a foil final death. And the rare is Westvale Abbey. Love this card. Flips around into Ormondal Profane Prince. That is very cool indeed. So there we are, Ziggy. And it's a wonder I have not lost my accent because I've been living in the US for almost 20 years now. So I'm not sure how that works. Okay. Ziggy Storm is back for seconds. Okay. One... Two, three, four, and five. Yes, a land down under indeed, the jack of all trades. And a foil and a rare. I think one of the recent um, videos we were talking about the fires they had there. Now it's like um, they're getting tons of rain most parts of the country. So that is very welcome indeed. Okay, Ziggy pack number two. We have Enoch Guide. Shambling Goblin Creature Zombie Goblin. And is that or is that not the most hilarious artwork you have ever seen in your entire life? I just love that one. Yeva's Force Mage. Kenra Scrapper. Thunderscape Battle Mage. Kefnet's Monument. Welcome. It screams Jesse One. No, we have not done your snap pack yet. Very lucky. So I'll go through the pile here, dig that up momentarily. A Dusk Mantle Seer. A Mythic. City Watch Sphinx. Boros Challenger. Growth Chamber Guardian. Extra rare there. Foil Unsubstantiate. And a Temple of Abandon Extended Art. Nice. Okay, so there we are. Ziggy, thank you for being a patron. Enjoy. And the pack opening coming up later in the month. Okay, so next up we have Jesse Abarks. Thank you for being a patron. Let's see what we can get you. And actually the uh, War of the Spark bundle... I think it's supposed to get here tomorrow, so that'll be, uh, I think, in another week or two. Oh, I need uncommons. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and five. Okay. This is about the time in the video where my counting skills deteriorate. So bear with me. Okay, good. And a foil and rare, okay. Welcome, Roman Show, Ukrainian MTG player. Do we have any other uh, people in the chat or comments from Europe? Leave a note there. Okay, next up we have Smite the Monstrous, Canyon Wildcat from 8th edition, Wayward Giant. Fill with Fright, Ariska Swiftclaw, Pillory of the Sleepless, Marchesa's Infiltrator, Salt Road Quartermasters. Yeah, if you missed the most recent video with uh, War of the Spark bundle, uh, very tasty pulls indeed for Jesse. So actually one of the crazier pulls on the channel, actually. Okay, Lightning Strike. Fires of Yavamaya, a foil Nexus Wardens, and the rare is very nice, Basilisk Collar. So there we go, enjoy. And uh, welcome Andrew Woodward. So I think we did your pack opening right near the beginning of the video. So if you want to check that out, or not pack opening, I should say the uh, foil. Okay, let me set these aside. Uh, what part of Aussie land am I from? I'm originally from South Australia. Um, what else did we have? I thought there was another message. 
Oh, jack of all trades. Yeah. Um, so I've been working from home since, let's see, 13, 14, 15, 16th of March. So pretty much four weeks straight and it's driving me up the wall. But what can you do? Okay, next up we have Keegan Justice. Thank you for being a patron. Let's take a look in here. Roman says, do you have a big collection? I probably have a one of the larger collection, private collections of bulk you will ever see in your life. I'm guessing like 50,000 cards or something of bulk. Um, considerably less of anything of value. So because a lot of the stuff goes to patrons. So yeah, not too much of my own. Okay, what do we got here for Keegan? We have Sandstep Outcast, Invading Manticore, Induced Despair, Omen of the Dead, Garenbrig Carver, Triton Cavalry, Ugin's Construct, Liliana's Defeat, Thieving Magpie, bring that back! Ah, uh, the magpies, I have memories of those. We used to walk... Uh, near our house in Australia, and the magpies would be in the trees and swoop down, nearly taking out a chunk of your scalp. Very terrifying. Or oh, a deal of Erebos. It's like they say, everything in Australia, the snakes, the spiders, everything's poisonous, everything will kill you. The koalas, you got to watch out for those as well. Foil, Wicked Guardian, and the rare is Gilt Leaf Palace. Nice artwork on that one. So there we are, Keegan. Stay tuned. Pack opening coming up later in the month. Okay. So jack of all trades. I do have a little bit of a buffer if I got sick, but not too much of a buffer, unfortunately. Um, there was one video. I think it was Friday's video was from last month. I realized I had to catch up on some of the backlog but the patron ones are normally done like a week ahead of time so a little bit of a buffer have you ever seen a wet koala they are terrifying <laughs> bit, a little bit like a wet cat uh, i mean as far as strangeness goes okay pierre Etienne pulan thank you for being a patron let's dig into it and people watching this on replay are probably wondering about all these strange conversations I'm having with myself. So um, if you have the chat running while you're watching the replay, things will make a lot more sense. Okay, a foil and a rare or mythic. And my voice is starting to go out again. They look completely different. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Savage Punch, Lotus Eye Mystics, Broken Bond, Aspect of Lamprey, Segu Archer, Leonin Relic Water, Leonin Iconoclast, Noxious Grasp, Abzan Charm, and I thought I got a peek, another standard pack. Okay, set that aside, grab the Mystery Booster. Pierre, you are so lucky, sir. A foil forest full art, very nice. And open the graves from M19. Okay. So now we'll go hunting for a mana crypt for you, sir. Hopefully we can pull one today. Okay, we have shining armor, pitfall trap, anticipate. Ojatai Interceptor, June Beetle, Dread Drone, Quakefoot Cyclops. Jack of all trades says he's still waiting for those MTG Arena streams. Me too. I've been working like a dog, man. I thought I would have all this spare time, but alas, no. Act of Treason, Shape the Sands, Hunt the Weak, Tachova, Benthic Druid. I think that was over a buck. I'll chuck that in. Ghost Quarter. And if there's anything over a buck here that I miss, let me know. I'll be sure to include that. Timely reinforcements. And the rare is Reality Scramble. 
This is a pretty fun one. Got this, uh, what is that, a, uh, a orangutan or monkey gorilla or something there. Very cool. And a foil mage right stone. Okay, so tuck those in there for you. So I'm not sure about these. Ghost Quarter. I think it used to be over a buck, but probably not anymore. But yeah, I'll have to check these later. Okay, so moving right along. So we've got the wild cards. Okay, I'll have a short drink here. All right, Jack of All Trades says the mystery boosters are a blast to draft. He got one draft with his family. It was awesome. Some pretty good cards you can get. Yep. Okay, so... Next up, we have Sebastian Blackwell. Thank you for being a patron. And the box is getting rather thin now, so hopefully we'll have enough here. Whoops, spoilers. Let's double check. I didn't get too few. Okay, perfect. And a foil. So have you had a chance to draft with the mystery boosters? Leave a note in the comments or chat. Okay, Sebastian, we have Sandblast, Dusk Charger, Crowd's Favor, Windrake, Vex, Sweet Oblivion. Split card here, Claim to Fame, Timer at Chosen from Death, Shark the Crab, yes. Still waiting for the Sci-Fi Channel Shark the Crab, Ravaging Blaze, a Foil Queen of Ice. And the rare is Thaumatic Compass, which flips around into Spires of Arazka. Yeah, I really hope they uh, do a nice size reprint of the Mystery Boosters. Okay, there we are, Sebastian. Thank you for being a patron. Next up, we have Godly Swamp. Thank you for being a patron. Let's dig into it. Oh, and we're nearly up to the two-hour mark here. This is a long stream. Thank you if, been, if you've been watching all this time. Um, so the booster boxes in the background are scenery. So we're not going to do these during the live stream. These are really stock that I have on hand. All right. We have Deputized Protester. Battle Mad Ronin. Dramatic Reversal, Reckless Imp, Thought Collapse, which can sometimes happen if you watch too many videos on this channel, but just keep on watching. It'll clear right up. Belligerent Brontodon, Burning Tree Emissary, Ancestral Mask. There's a nice one. Sarkhan's Triumph, Azorius Chancery, a Foil Mythic, Karthas Tyrant of Jund. Nice. And the rare. Oh, we saw this earlier. Westvale Abbey. Flips around into Ormondale Profane Prince. Very cool card there. Used to love that transformation. All right, there we are. Godly Swamp. Enjoy. Thank you for being a patron. Next up, we have Peter Sorensen. And now I'm getting worried. Do I have enough cards? I'll need to count up the remaining patrons and see how many are left. Have you run into any cards that shall not be named? Not yet, uh, Jack of all trades. I might have to whisper them if I see them. 
or we could just try a experiment and see what happens if I do my usual craziness when I see them. So let's see, Peter Sorensen, what do we got? Territorial Bailoff, Stone Fury, Blood Crazed Hoplite, Fencing Ace, Claustrophobia, Alpine Guide, Invigorate, Goblin Matron, Creature Goblin, nice, Dragon Rage, Nin the Pain Artist, extra rare there, Foil, Showcase, True and Veil, Tree Folk, and the rare is Yaheni, Undying Partisan, all right. So there we are. And Richard is mailing pizza to people in the chat. Could take a few weeks to get to you, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay, Peter Sorensen is back for seconds. Let's see if we can do even better than that, Yaheni. Okay, uncommons. Grab a foil and a rare. Okay, Peter, round two. <laughs> I'm not sure how good of a seasoning mold might be. Yeah, yeah, I, I wouldn't uh, risk it. Mummy Paramount, Deadbridge Shaman. Rimrock Knight, Ardenvale Tactician, Vampire Champion, A Crowan Horse, Empyrean Eagle, Seeker of the Way, a extra rare here, Shrine of the Forsaken Gods, nice uh, artwork there, Righteous Cause, oh, Full Art Forest, shiny goodness. And the rare is Bontu's Last Reckoning. All right, that is some cool artwork. So enjoy, Peter. And speaking of mold, I did scrape some mold off of cheese the other day, and it's perfectly fine. I mean, cheese can get a little moldy, but as long as it's just a little, little piece, you just scrape it right off, eat it up, enjoy. Okay, we are down to the last six patrons. Let's see, we have Travis Taylor. Thank you for being a patron. I think I should have enough cards, so we are all good here. I'm avoiding uh, moving to a larger box because these are very convenient to move around. At some point, I might have to maybe have three of them. It's the final countdown, yes! Four, five, and I've got to be careful how I... How I say that, because I, I don't want to get a strike. Okay, and let's see. Travis, what do we got? Queen's Commission, Slaughter Drone, Cruzan Tusker, Nest Invader, Hinterland Drake, Squirrel Nest, Gifted Etherborn, very nice, Havoc Demon, Rona, Disciple of Gix, Winter Flame, Foil, Eros's Blessing, and the rare is Draco, or Draco. How would you say that? Very cool artwork. Dragon. All right, so Travis, enjoy. Pop that in there. Next up, we have Derek Nothnagel. Thank you for being a patron. One two, three, four, and five. Foil and a rare. Okay, and actually, since we have got all the wild cards, Richard, I know you were asking about this before the stream. I'll crack this open for you near the end of the video. Uh, so the, the super chat should cover that. Okay, we have Disposal Mummy, Avarax, Sandstep Outcast, Earthen Arms, Fathom Fleet Cutthroat, Ajani's Pride Mate, Spider Spawning, Beast Breaker of Valaged, Fettergeist, Beetleback Chief, Creature Goblin Warrior, nice. Foil Spike Jester, and the rare is Corsa of Crufix. 
All right, so enjoy the pools, Derek. Jack of all trades says he wonders when I'll hit 10K. I'm thinking probably going to be sometime later in this summer. So we'll see how that goes. Normally, I get a bit of a boost when the new sets come out. So we shall see. Next up, we have Ronald DePetro. Thank you for being a patron. And Ronald has his own YouTube channel. That is MTG Ronnie D. Check it out. Opens packs and has a lot of fun doing it. So I put a I think I put the link in the description for this video. If you're not already subscribed to him, definitely check it out. Um, I'm, I can't take payments for live openings right now. If it's Mystery Booster, this is uh, sealed, so I'm not opening that during the video. But uh, definitely, if there's something else you'd like that's already opened, we can probably do that. Okay, Solitary Camel. Uh, Millery Sphere, Zealous Strike, Opalite Gatekeepers. Firewild Border Post, Goldforge Sentinel, Plague Crafter, Flaxen Intruder, Daxos Blessed by the Sun, Extract from Darkness, thanks for dropping by, Meme Regards, a Foil, Banishing Light, and a Mythic, Kethis the Hidden Hand, nice, very cool. All right, so there we are. Ronald, enjoy, and definitely check out his YouTube channel if you haven't already. And I think it was Mateo was asking, do I have patrons per day data? So usually what happens, I'll lose a couple of patrons every month, but I'll end up gaining... Uh, it, it seems to be about maybe like half a dozen patrons a month. So it sort of balances out. But yeah, it's getting to the point... Um, I'm not sure what that point will be, but it is a huge amount of work behind the scenes. So at some point I will have to close all remaining slots, but I'm not sure when that'll be. I'm thinking probably closer to like 75 or 100 patrons. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, next up we have paper time. Three patrons left. Thank you for being a patron, sir. Um, oh, subscribers per day. Um, it varies. Usually it's about 10 per day. If you go to um, Social Blade, you can get a reasonable prediction, but it's it changes quite a bit. Um, so they have like estimates of income, which are completely wrong. They have um, forecast subscribers. So I think it's, it's looking like later this summer. Is Godzilla the box topper? Um, I think those Godzilla cards were maybe box toppers. Yeah, so it's looking like at this point, 7K looks to be around July sometime. <laughs> Every says, how much money have you spent on MTG? I don't even want to know. I mean, I'm still working on my taxes for last year, but... Yes, significant with this channel. It's not cheap to run, so i really thankful for all the patrons. Okay, we have Ferocious Zeng, Law Mages Binding, Viashino Slasher, so some cool dinosaur here. Final Flare, Chuanvale Treefolk, Eidolon of Inspiration. Jonathan says the uh, first Godzilla they showed was the buyer box. Sounds about right. Rare, extra rare here, Piper of the Swarm, Caliphate, Beloved of the Sea, Acid Web Spider, Split Card, Reduce, Two Rubble. Spoiler, no Godzilla in the novel. <laughs> Witching Well, Foil, and the rare. Oh, it's a mythic. Uncaged the Menagerie. Check it out. Very cool. That's pretty much on theme for Ikoria, so can't wait. And just as Catron, yes, you did get a snack pack. I'm going to say that was probably about 20 minutes ago. So we did that. So if you take note, it's like two hours, nine minutes right now. So if you go back, you should be able to see that. Final two patrons, we have Neil Ellis. Okay, and then we'll crack this open for Richard. 
So one, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I want to collect all the uh, those Godzilla cards. That would be fantastic. Foil and rare. All right, Neil, what do we got? Starting off with a miasmic mummy, and this is me after I eat too much garlic on the pizza. Little disturbing, abstruse interference, collateral damage, healing hands, carrion screecher, don't overcook your chook, it'll look like that. Armadillo cloak, relief captain, dark steel garrison. Uh, what is that? Um, if you know what that, I forget what that symbol is. Leave a note in the chat or comments. Sandstep Citadel, Cauldron Dance, a Foil Wayfaring Temple, and a Mythic Erebos Bleak Hearted Constellation Artwork. Very nice for you, Neil. Enjoy. And um, Richard's saying a good graphic novel to read is World War Kaiju by Josh Finney at 01 Publishing. I think I used to follow Josh on um, Twitter. I haven't seen anything in a while, though. Um, Every says, do you prefer building your decks or buying them? So building them... Uh, yeah, but you can't really get it. You can't really buy a complete deck that is really competitive. I mean, the um, challenger decks are somewhat competitive, but you really have to build your own, or, of course, you can look online to see um, what there is. But, yeah, Jonathan builds a ton of commander decks every month. Very cool. And I supply him with a good number of commanders each month, so... Hopefully he enjoys those. Okay, final patron for April 2020. It is Twilight's Eve. And Jack of all trades, mention the name of the unmentionable creature. I don't know if I can say that creature. Where is he? Actually, there was. I think we've got one of his cousins in the deck, but I don't think we've pulled it yet. So let's see. Okay, and then foil. And if you stuck out this far, thank you for watching. This is a very long live stream indeed. Okay, Twilight Eve, we have Commune with Nature, Treasure Hunt, McKindy, Aeronaut, Renegades, Getaway, Colossal, Dreadmoor, Wall of Frost, Retreat to Coral Helm, Lifecraft Awakening, Avalanche Riders, Unity of Purpose. Jack of all trades can smell the burgers on the grill his dad is making. Yes, the uh, I want to have a burger for lunch as well. Very hungry at this point. Gingerbread Cabin Foil and the rare is a extended art protein thaumaturge. Very nice. And I'm really losing my voice at this point. So this is probably about the limit of a live stream, I think. Okay. Richard Corwin, if you are still sticking around, we're going to open this for you. You get the rares, mythics, foils, and anything over a buck. Fingers crossed for that mana crypt. Okay, we have a Devil Thorn Fox, Looming Altasaur, Purple Crystal Crab. What the heck? I don't think I've seen that one. Snapping Drake. Merciless Resolve, Eye Blight's Ending, another one I ha haven't seen. It's pretty cool. Geomancer's Gambit, Zealot of the God Pharaoh, Blanchwood Armor, Kevu Primarch, Woolly Thokta, Cathodian, and the rare is Bloom Tender. With a goblin pile driver creature, goblin warrior. Look at that, hilarious. Okay, and a looks like a foil rare, braid of fire. Nice. Okay, so there you are, Richard. I'll set these aside for you, and like I said earlier, I'll be checking the prices on 
the uh, other cards here in case I miss anything. All right, so that is it for another month. So I'd like to thank everybody for watching. Thank you for all the support from patrons, subscribers, and viewers. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings. And be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. I hope everybody out there stays safe and healthy. Thanks for watching and see you next month. Have a great day.